No idea you're you're not on my list. Oh Jordan, get up here. I've heard that before. I've been having so many fucking weird interactions like that. I just somebody just asked where I work and I told them and then they just told me everything that they've eaten like in their whole life. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> sounds really good, some of it. You told me a lot of it, I don't remember all of it, so that sounds good. I've been having weird interactions. I went to a massage the other day, and it was really weird. I made a horrible decision. I like smoked weed and went to Green Hills. Terrible. What the fuck? I was like laying on the massage table, and I like put my hand too close to the edge. And I wasn't like 100% positive, but like the massage therapist was leaning over beside me, and I was like, I'm pretty sure I have this guy's balls in my hand. <laughs> But it was like, you know when somebody's kicking you under the table, you know, and you should move it because it hurts really bad, but you don't want to go through the whole fucking thing where they apologize, you know, or they're like standing on your foot and you're like, well, I'm just stuck here for the rest of my life. I get it. It was like that, you know? So I was like cupping this guy's balls. I was like, should I move it? Should I keep it? If I move it, he'll be like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Or he'll be like, why were you touching? You know what I mean? And I, so I just, I was like, fuck it. And I just went the whole hour holding this guy's balls. Shit. Weird interactions. I have like a neighbor who's like really mentally disabled, and his main thing is whenever he's around any woman at all, he just has to grab his junk through his pants. Like he just has to do it. And like that doesn't really bother me. The thing that the thing that gets me is like he won't do it around me. <laughs> pisses me right off. Like, I walk outside and he's like, oh, I'm just, I'm just a normal person again. Perfect, thank you. I hate it. My roommates will come in and be like, god damn it, he did it again. And I'm like, what the fuck? I've tried everything. I've tried, like, sitting out on my front porch and, like, slowly eating fruit. <laughs> didn't, didn't work. It's weird, though. You, like, reduce a man to zero mental capacity and they still have that, like, frantic fucking stressful need to just, you know, just touch themselves and sex is always there. You know, like, you'd never see, like, a crazy old lady, like, finger banging herself. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, if anything, she's holding, like, a little baby doll that she's taking care of. You know? <laughs> it's ridiculous. This is how it is. It's, it's how it is with the genders. I remember, like, realizing that, like, being in summer camp, and finding out that all the boys wanted to do was just simply touch a boob. That was it, that's all they wanted, you know? And at that age, you're like, your body isn't in segregated parts, it's just your body to you. It's just this fucking thing that carries your head around, you know what I mean? It's like your boob is the same as your elbow, you know? And you're like, yeah, it, you don't have to give me your gummy bears. You can, you can touch them, I don't even know what they do, yeah. Like, and then as you get older, you're like, mm, gummy bears first, motherfucker. <laughs> I've learned. That's why I hate that like bullshit argument. I feel like all my friends are on this kick right now where they're like, no, I don't want a boyfriend. I'm just as horny as guys. I just want to fuck. You know what I mean? But they're like constantly working out their kegels just to create like a bear trap for a dick, you know? Just to fucking capture the father of their future children, you know? Such bullshit. And I know that they just want a boyfriend just so that they can have somebody watch them do like the stupid shit that they think is adorable, that they only do by themselves, you know what I mean? And they just want a fucking witness for that, you know? Like what? I say goodnight to my plans, shut up. I'm a bad feminist. <laughs> I would love to be a feminist. I just hate too many women. <laughs> I'm such a bullshit feminist. Like, I'll be a feminist in relationships. Like, if a guy takes, like, food off my plate, they're fucking misogynist to me, you know what I mean? But, like, in bed, everything's different. Like, I want, you know, like, I want equal pay, but I also want to be manhandled. <laughs> you know? 
Like, if you don't treat me like an illiterate 1950s housewife, I'll take away your fucking right to vote. Ridiculous. I should be a better feminist. I was raised by feminists. I was raised by like a pack of lesbians, you know? There's like three and then one who's just in rotation. He's just fucking confused all the time. I could explain it to you guys, but I'd need like a whiteboard and like a box of tissues. It's ridiculous. God. My mom's like, my mom, she, my mom looks, she's like the, she's like the ringleader of them all. She looks like if like Clint Eastwood and just a pile of rawhide made a baby. <laughs> it's ridiculous. She came to town recently and I was like, pretty nervous about her trying to fuck my very attractive female roommate. <laughs> fuck. And uh, we got through the whole weekend without her making any comment. But on the last night, we were sitting on the couch and my roommate went into her bedroom with a boy. And after like, you know, 45 seconds or something ridiculous, they were done. <laughs> and, and I was like, all right, like maybe my mom didn't hear. Maybe we don't have to talk about this. And then my mom turns to me and goes, should I go in there and finish her off? <laughs> Thanks, mom. Yeah, just go in there, that's a great idea. All right, good night, you guys, thank you.